Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars and I have a very interesting thing to talk to you about that I just was discussing with someone, a man with a low voice on the astral plane. His question was, how can anyone who cannot speak think anything at all? And it had to do with, I was walking along a trail and I was noting the signs of animal life and plant life along the trail and the things that had been happening there during in the nighttime and then I started to speak about them on the astral plane and that person hadn't had any notion of of what I was seeing because I hadn't been speaking about those things I had only been observing them and uh, so I started out I I started to explain that there was a woman uh, who was deaf and blind, I think it was, who had a very hard time learning to speak. And I saw a movie about the beginning of her training to learn to speak. And I saw that she was very strong-willed and she had really strong ideas about table manners, for instance. Helen Keller. And... Uh, so she could, she could think and she could act on her thoughts, but she couldn't see or hear or speak. And so then I realized that this is the impediment. <laughs> this is the impediment that people have about speaking with non-human beings. Yes, they think that they need to be able to talk to them either on the astral plane or on the physical plane. But many species communicate without the aid of speech. You see, they have a very rich cultural heritage and they have a very a dynamic notion about the universe and they have a, a cultural history in the case of the Martian that goes back billions of years, you know. It's not to be discounted, Martians not to be discounted. And there are others of the higher realms, such as the Venusians, those of Venus, who, who speak through the language of light. And there, there are many other instances of communication that have nothing to do with speaking. All right, so if you go to my website category, interspecies communication, you'll get a notion of the range and diversity of modes of communication that have not to do with speech. Some do have to do with our speech and some don't. Some species have learned English. Uh, in general, we need to make a distinction in that regard. Just because they've learned English doesn't mean they have our best interests in mind. On the other hand, it might mean just that. So we have to discriminate. Okay, so interspecies communication. And you could also look up commensal organisms. And very good luck in exploring the lifestyles of those that are not human. Hope you have as much fun with it as I have. God bless you all and keep you safe and be with you through all your days. In love, light, and joy, this is Alice B. Claggett. I am of the stars and so are you. Take a look at my website, Awakening with Planet Earth, https colon slash slash awakeningwithplanetearth.com.